This is new tonight. Mexico's president now considering canceling a trip to Washington following President Donald Trump signing of two executive orders today involving border patrol. One would build a wall along the roughly 2,000 mile U.S.-Mexico border. The other would strip federal grant money from so-called sanctuary states and cities that harbor illegal immigrants. In just five days, the Trump administration has made major moves and faced intense criticism. And here to help us sort it all out, political experts Mike Hassinger and LaDawn Jones. Thank you for joining me. Um, LaDawn, let's start with you. President Trump says the wall will go up within months. Even though he just signed this order, it's going to take a little bit of time to do. But the U.S. will have to foot the bill initially. So Congress will have to sign off on this first. And then later, we will get the money possibly from Mexico. What has been the reaction so far? Well, Democrats expected this to happen, and we knew that this was coming. This is why we did not support President Trump. But what we also know is that we heard the president of Mexico say that it's not going to happen. We also heard him say that it's going to be a complicated matter or way of doing things, probably very complicated, like his taxes, something we would never really know how it works out. And it's not likely that it's going to turn out the way he plans. And that's what I'm expecting. Mike, your thoughts? I think that uh, Donald Trump voters are going to be pleased. The more this costs, the better they'll feel. Mm -hmm. And if America has to pay for it, America has to pay for it. They want that wall built. Takes a lot of trust right there, right? To Absolutely. say that we'll get paid back uh, eventually. So let's move on to the voter fraud issue. Everyone is talking about this today. The president insisting that as many as three to five million people illegally voted in the presidential election. He's calling for a formal investigation now. A number of critics have been coming forward saying that it is not presidential-like to question the integrity of our country's election. Is this the right move, Mike? Uh, it's the right move for Donald Trump. It's factually wrong. There is one study out there that says that um, there might have been enough illegal votes cast based on a very small sample size. That study was later discredited by statisticians. It's, there's no valid evidence whatsoever of any um, outcome being changed by illegal votes. What Donald Trump has done, though, is change the narrative. Mm -hmm. We're no longer talking about Russians hacking the election. We're no longer talking about he only won the electoral vote. We're talking about all of his critics are saying he won the election fair and square. They just don't realize it yet. So in his first week on the job, what message uh, is the Trump administration sending to world leaders, especially uh, the news just a few days ago by him abandoning the Trans-Pacific uh, trans uh, Agreement there? What do you think? Well, it was the most standout thing in his inauguration speech, America first, mm -hmm. America first. And so he is showing that that's exactly what he's doing, not only just through trade with the TPP, but also through stopping uh, all new visa entries from certain countries. He's making it clear um, to foreign leaders and also foreign terrorists alike. If we were once afraid of uh, radical Islamic terrorists, is a term that they like to use, I don't think that this is going to help. All right, LaDawn, thank you. Mike, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. We will continue tracking President Trump's first 100 days. It has been a sprint. For more information on what's going on in Washington, check out the Politics tab on 11alive.com.